What's up guys, hanging out in the fish room today. Uh, I've been going through all of my questions and I found that a lot of people uh, have problems with fish dying and it's not, uh, I think it's most commonly for people that are new to the hobby and setting up their tank that have this happen. And I just, uh, I wanna make a video, kind of some of the steps that I go through when helping people figuring out why their fish are dying on them and they just continuously keep dying. So number one is what I tell people, the biggest reason people, the biggest thing people screw up is their tank cycle, and it's it's pretty intricate stuff to understand. Uh, what I do, I tell people to make it super simple. Just go to your local fish store and buy a used, established sponge filter. You can see one behind me, and don't buy a brand new one. Ask to buy one out of a an established tank, and they will know exactly what you need it for. Tell them you want to jump start your cycle of a brand new aquarium that's being set up and you will not have any more cycling problems this will fix it all i literally don't deal with um cycling new tanks i just drop in used sponge filters that seed a new tank so that answers that or else what you can do is uh maybe they're running the same filters at your fish store as you are and you can ask to buy their filter pad out of the filter and just throw the filter pad in your new filter uh, so you're you're buying the used filter pad that's all nasty essentially but it has all that beneficial bacteria and helps cycle your tank you're putting that used one in your brand new filter and this jump starts everything makes it all easy to understand um and once once it's all set up and established you're good to go so it's literally that simple uh the next thing i have i see people screw up all the time oh my hand's killing me from holding this camera been answering so many questions that my hands hurt my hand hurts i need to get out my tripod if i was smart okay next biggest thing i see people screw up is cleaning your gravel um it's a huge deal to clean your substrate move around the decor make sure that uh it's it's huge thing to move around your decor because all the detritus and all the uneaten food and poop all seem to crowd around decor and if you move it you will know what i'm talking about because it'll all just sit there and collect that's the stuff you need to remove from the tank because it's decaying essentially. So what I advise you do, get a gravel vacuum or better yet, get a, um, a water changer. Water changers uh, change this whole industry. Basically it's a gravel vacuum with a long hose that hooks up to your faucet. And when you turn on the faucet, it'll pull water out. And as it's pulling water out, you can gravel vac and clean your gravel. And when you're done, what you do is hit the switch and it'll fill your tank with water. So essentially you're, you, you're, uh, you're, uh, you're hitting like four birds with one stone. It's crazy. You're, you're cleaning your gravel, you're removing water and you're also filling with new water. So it's, it's, it's huge. And as far as figuring out when you need to change water, uh, you should get a, le a liquid test kit. If you're not into getting super intricate and it can sometimes be, uh, overwhelming with all the the test kits and liquid test kits what you can do is get test strips they're super easy uh, you buy them and literally just dip the test strip in and give it a couple minutes look at it if your nitrates too high you need to do a water change it's as simple as that guys I'll throw a couple a couple of these links in the description box like the water changer the test strips um, it, it's these are the main things that people are screwing up and uh, the, once you get it going guys I promise this hobby is gonna be super rewarding because a lot of us beginners have screwed these same things up so don't feel bad about it uh, we all have fish die from time to time and especially when we are beginners it's important to stick with it because these fish are needing good homes and good fish keepers so without further ado uh, comment your questions on this if you're having fish die um, I have a video that's like five years old with hundreds of thousands of views uh, that people it's regarding aquarium fish dying but I feel I didn't do a really a really good uh, walkthrough on some better things a person can do and that's why I kind of just went back and made this video so hopefully this helps uh, let me know if you guys have any more questions I try to reply to all the comments blah 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 blah, blah. okay that's it